No, uh, you, you did right there. I mean, we're, offense is not the issue. We've been talking about that and talking about it until we've been blue in the face. You know, I don't know, I don't know what we need to do. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not upset. I'm happy with a win. We'll always take a win. But my expectations for this team are, are really high because I know what they're capable of. Um, I want them to experience uh, playing for a championship, and they won't do it until we as a unit buy in to get the stops. Did Idaho State, in transition, get into their low offense at least faster than what you had seen them? No, we, we talked about it at length. We talked about how the challenge of playing Idaho State is it's almost two different teams. They slow you up and they want to lull you to sleep with their matchup, and then as soon as you shoot it, they are gone. And they're trying to get easy points in transition. They do a good job of pushing it and, and looking for each other, uh, trying to score before you can set your defense up. And you know, at times I thought we we did a decent job of that. At times we didn't. And and tonight was one of the nights when you made a mistake, Idaho State made you pay. Uh. There's no question. We, not so much a 10 footer, 12 footer, mm -hmm. but too easy in the paint. No question. For some reason, we call it beat or not. Beat or not? Beat or not. Beat or not. And, and you have to decide if, as a help defender, so if I'm not on the ball, I'm a help defender. I have to decide if, if my teammate is beat or not. And if he's beat, I got to go stop the ball. And for some reason tonight, we, uh, that's something we probably do three times a week. And for, you know, tonight we just, we didn't see that well. We didn't evaluate it well. We didn't respond to it well. And what the end product was, was layups at the rim. You're exactly right. And that, that can't happen. Um, you know, the, the thing that saved us was being at home and, and shooting the ball. You know, Cam, you know, jump shots cover up a lot of ugly. And, and we were lucky enough that, that Cam and Jordan were feeling it. And, um, you know, I, I have the utmost confidence, I don't care who we're playing, that we're going to score 70. We have to hold people to 60-something. You know, and I'm not asking to, to be Virginia and, and hold people to 49 points. We have to hold people in the 60s. And, and until we as a group buy into that and have that be what we talk about as a group, what we consider success or not, until they start looking at that figure, that 55%, when they look at the stat sheet, they don't look at the points, they look at that figure, I don't know if anything's going to change. And that's a mentality, and that's, people may say that that's unrealistic with 18 to 22 year olds, but that's, they want to win a championship. And if they do, that's what, that's what they will start talking about as a group in, in timeouts, in huddles, in the locker room. You say you work on it, you know, the, the helping out thing mm -hmm. three times a week. Yeah. Um, can you crank that up even more? Or is it, I mean, I mean, like you said, you don't know how to make it more evident to them. In a two-hour practice, we probably spend, an, and I'm being generous, an hour and 30 minutes wow. on defense. We don't, am, I, am I right, Cam? Yeah. Dom? Mm -hmm. Would that be the correct ratio? And then you take the chance of something else suffering because you're and we, we spend maybe 30 minutes a day on offense. And right now, I think efficiency numbers-wise, we're, we're in the top 20 in the country in offense. And I'm afraid to tell you where we are defensively. Um, but again, you know, they're, they're more than capable because for four games, for four games, starting at Montana State, two home games, and at North Dakota, I think our average defensive field goal percentage defense was 43 point something. That's good enough. That's good enough. 
because we're going to shoot in the high 40s, you know. Um, but in the last three games, I think our field goal percentage defense has been close to what it was tonight for an average. And that, you know, you, you can't do that on the road. You can't do it at home. You can't do it anyway. And, you know, the only way you win games is to go 12 for 17 from three, which is, uh, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, we're, lucky we got, we're lucky we got guys that can make some jumpers. <coughs> Did I? I was I was kind of putting my own on in the locker room. It was good. <laughs> Looking ahead to Weber State on yeah. Saturday, and it's a pretty special night uh, with the unveiling, you know, the official ribbon ribbon cutting of uh, Bank of Colorado. What does it mean, uh, not only to your program but more or less the school, uh, for someone to come along and partner in a gym that you guys call home? Uh, it's. It's, it shows commitment, you know, it shows obviously the resources, but the commitment of stepping up to help us continue to uh, take this thing to another level. You know, when I got here nine years ago, this community made a big commitment. Actually started before that, but we were, we were kind of the staff that, that ushered in the new era of Division I. That took, a, that took a huge commitment level from not only the university, but the community, because that takes another level of, of resources and, and responsibility and everything else. I think this is just the next step. You know, our new administration has come in and, and struck a new deal, and I think this is the beginning of, of taking this entire department to another level. We haven't had commitment levels like this before. And then obviously it is a big game. It is Weber, you know, they were on a four-game skid, one tonight by seven. Yeah. Uh, what do you have to do Saturday to pull out a victory? Did you listen? Oh. Um, we got we, we got to defend. You know, the Weber St what Weber State brings in is what they always bring in. Great talent, unbelievably well coached. Um, have they struggled to this point a little bit this year for Weber? Yeah, um, but they're also very young, and this this Weber State team is going to get rolling at some point. Maybe it was tonight that started it for them. I don't know. The immediate threat is the fact that they bring in. Uh, two forwards that are unbelievably athletic, unbelievably talented, and they surround them with guys that can make plays. Um, you know, we're going to have to, the, the, the challenge for our team right now is implementing a game plan, which will be in place tomorrow at 2, and taking that out on the floor and executing it. Not, not saying we understand it and then not executing it. We have to, we have to take the next step see it, understand it, and then execute it for 40 minutes to, to beat a team like that. Thanks, PJ. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep.